Can I lose that my daddy's name, name. for this So do you understand? Name? And which is why it goes back to this which point is of why trust. It's trust. Mm. You have to trust that, that I can give you a name, name give bigger than whatever you feel, your, like whatever pedigree your father has built for you. I see. Like the covering. Because I mean, I, I mean, for the woman, so I mean, my dad, my father was something Taylor. I'm going to just drop it for you. Who is <laughs> <It's> a dad? <laughs> no. Which Obama is trying to marry <laughs> and give away her name. Because for me, I've been thinking a lot like on understanding because people throw this word around, especially in this country, be it comes to how you deal with people of different ages or how you yeah. deal with people with the opposite sex or how you, mm. just everything, business, mm. respect. Respect. Mm. Like what is respect? What does respect look like? What is it actually in the reality of it? Mm. It, it, it can mean a lot to different people, especially living in Nigeria. Mm. It's one of the things that people don't play with, mm -hmm. yeah. regardless of where you are in life, who you are. So, for instance, a great example is, you know, in the States, you could walk into somewhere and be the boss of someone that's older than you. And it's fine. You can call that person. You, know, you can call that person and say, hey, Bob, get me those <laughs> documents, you know, just based on... I love, I love the stereotypical of Bob. <laughs> that, Bob is always in the workplace, you know, so you can do that and Bob understands that, okay, because of where we are in this environment, this mm. person is my boss. But in Nigeria, in the back of Bob's mind, he's like, we did not worry this you? guy. Who did, mm. you know? do, you, do you know where I am? One day, out of joke, Bob can just tell you, Hey, you don't say I don't be your bitch. Mm. <laughs> you understand? They don't play with it out here and in business and all that, in, in different um, industries and in different aspects of life. Respect is very big in Africa and in Nigeria. You know, mm. um, we, we grow up with our parents trying to make sure that we're respectful to even people we don't know, even though yeah. sometimes we feel like if I don't know you, then I don't need to respect you. But it's the right thing to be respectful, you know. It shows good morals, it shows good home training, and it just shows that you, you have um, respect <laughs> for, <laughs> for others. Just for, you know, you know, I don't know if anyone's ever heard you say As in not to shade you, DJ. No, no. When you don't use the word you are defining to I define know. that. But then yeah. how, did, how did, I was trying to figure, I was trying to look for another word. Oh, yeah. It just means that you 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 it's respect. It just yeah. means that you can relate and you yeah. you understand hierarchy. We don't have that patriotic spirit yeah. in Nigeria. You know, even for sportsmanship and all because you think about it, if you think about the police, for instance, when you when you go to different countries and you see their police, they are proud mm. that they, you know, this person wanted to be a police officer mm. so he can add some value to the community, to the country as, at large. Mm. But over here, it's just a, this is what we've been dealing with. They needed with, so, a job and they needed something. Yeah, <laughs> you know, this is what I just using to get by. So they're not even taking care of me. So no need, I can't keep myself. You understand? I can't keep myself from the country. So there's, and even that, that comes from the top. Because no, nobody wants, nobody, if the president doesn't want to face the wala of the country, who are we to, to come and yeah, carry, to try and carry something something and and carry the cross? So, <laughs> you know, we need to, I don't know, I don't know how we can, and I, I feel like conversations like this help to, mm. to shed light on it and would help to like maybe start shifting and changing yeah. it, but I don't know what that big boom will be. So for me, there's this, and I hear my head is just thinking as we're thinking about it, that respect is not, is earned but it's also freely given. So it's a mixture of both. Yeah. In that the idea that you want someone to respect you, how do you treat that person? Therefore, if you treat them with respect even before they've earned it, you're earning their respect. Their respect, yeah. Right, so that idea of I'm not basing, because one thing I always see, because I have, I, one th I think a word that's come up a lot in here has always been entitlement yes. that I believe we have a sense of an entitlement mentality there will be, be it people that have less than feel like they should have because or sons who are like do you know who my father is mm. and it's that mentality of feeling like you earn something or deserve something that you have not yet earned or done anything for mm -hmm. you know, one um, thing that always came to my head was this idea that like 
I did nothing to earn the family I was born into. Mm-hmm. I did nothing. To, I did absolutely nothing. Like I, like unless I, my conscious does not know it. But before I was born, we were playing some sort of like Hunger Games in heaven <laughs> to decide where you were <laughs> born <laughs> into. That's my family, dear. That's, that's, my, that's my own. <laughs> unless that happened, I did nothing to earn where I was born. So people yeah. that that were um, born into more unfortunate circumstances did nothing to earn that either. Mm-hmm. Therefore, I cannot show them less respect because of where they were born into Thank and where you. I was born. It, I, I did not. Like who am I? Mm-hmm. At max, my father has earned the life he's living. That's him. That's exactly. him. That's what I was about to say. That's, that's his legacy. Mm. Yes, he's created a, a good name, you know. And a platform. And a platform. But I have to then also earn my own. It's, it's, mm. We're going to creep into this idea of marriage and I'm going to start with a bit of and respect in that, in that <laughs> space. Because I, I always talk about this. And one thing I always say, because I, I talk to people who ask about um, especially girls when it comes to taking someone's name mm. or not taking someone's mm. name. For me, it's the beginning of it's the like level. Can, of, do you feel that? This is... Ah, it's, it's mo- the <laughs> table is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> they are rattling their cage. <laughs> this is the beginning of respect or not respect. Mm. And, it's, and it's a weird one. So my, my opinion and my personal belief is that, is that your wife should take your name. Mm. But my justification and my reason is this. It's, I, it, 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 is a, it is a symbol of trust. And mm. not because... You're not taking my father's name. You're taking my name. Mm. And it's a trusting that I can create and provide a name for you that will be a solid covering for mm. you. That's a really good you're not marrying Adi Faras. You're marrying Adeolu Adi Farasin. And what is Adeolu Adi Farasin oh, making at the value Yay. of that name? So now, I want, I want to throw a little curveball real quick. I knew someone was going to have to come there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Because someone has, someone has asked me this. In this type of conversation, someone has asked this before. So taking your name, so should they now, because it, it's, it's weird, but just, just break, play, break, yeah, break, break, break. break. <laughs> So <laughs> now, does that now, Pause <laughs> hammer. does that mean that you can now create your own, what's the word now, lineage, generation, by going, so say for instance, your wife's name is Bimbo. Instead of it now being Bimbo Ade Faras, it's Bimbo Ade Ulu. I mean, people do that. Yeah. I know people that you do understand that. what I'm saying. So right now, if it's if you know, I, that, that's just I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> It's stressful, right? Because then it's not like so. What the, does that mean that? Then... So, Mr. and Mrs. What? I'm sure I'll be so just dear, please, mom. right? Let's keep it one. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> So like I mean I get it. So what I, so what I say is obviously I believe there will be a different accent. But then if people are trying to differentiate between my family and my brother's family, they will let you know this is the Ademola difference and this is the Ademola difference. Mm. Like, they're different things and yeah. there's a level of respect on what people have built. Mm. So there's, there are legacies that are created through that. Mm. But here's, here's, here's another curveball. Spiritually, some names are not the best. Let me leave it at that. Some names don't translate or you know interpret as something that you want to be associated with so sometimes you might want to now say let me my first name might be better Mm -hmm. versus my last name so do I now say because I want my generation to be different and I want my spiritually to be properly grounded and you know like I want to dedicate I want to dedicate my family wholly to to Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ Mm -hmm. I know that my first name means Jehovah or salvation, but my last name means Lucifer. So, you know what I'm saying? So now, do I now so, take I my mean, family with the last name or do thing. I now switch And those are personal choices, right? Mm-hmm. Because then you understand, because I also know people who have changed their surnames mm-hmm. because of that. And not even because the name necessarily itself means something negative, but because there have been connotations of things that have been carried down through that family name exactly. that comes from generationally. Yeah. And so there's purpose and understanding in that. Mm-hmm. Myself, I can say that my great-grandfather, our original surname was not a day for us my great-grandfather changed it. Mm. And so there is understanding mm. those things and then, mm. um, and that was in areas breaking different ties, breaking generational ties and there was purpose behind the name mm. changing. Mm. So I know that there are times, so it's, it's not that so much, which is why it's also personal. And because when you start your own, mm. if my child, 
if I do something that's negative relation, my child decides to change their name. That's because when when you do that, and the reason why I say you, it's, you, you marry you, the person becomes a dealer, a different not just a different is because what does the Bible say? It says that a man shall leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife. Yeah. And so therefore you are starting a new yeah. slate and you're starting to create your own foundation. They exactly. might be coming off of the things that they have created for you because that's an essence. Mm. But if there are things that are negative there, you might have to step away from that. Mm. What do you do if your wife don't want to take your name? Do you ah. deem it disrespect? I mean, the other side was I mean, it wasn't good explanation. Yeah, it wasn't good. I mean, like, because it's called it's respect. So, I mean, I respect the fact that she hasn't. So, I mean, let's have a conversation. Yeah. So, why? You know, like, <sighs> like first of all, I'm stressed. <laughs> I know that I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> but I think first of all, it's also communication. Why? And I think also, more what, like. What would it, be a justifiable reason? So let's, let's understand, what would be a justifiable reason? What would be a reason that you can stand by? Do you think there's a reason you can stand by? I think, by? first of there's all, no, I th there's no reason, because what you usually hear is, oh, you know, I'm the only girl, or they're all girls in my family, so I want to keep my father's name going, you know, that kind of thing. And I don't think that's a, that's a solid reason, honestly, because then, you know, like you said, we didn't pick our families, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying? And right now, you're about to start your own, you're, 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 you're coming together as one, so we're about to start our own generation, our own lineage, so... You know, kudos to your pops, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, table, table officially broken. Like, I mean, like, shout out to your dad, bro. Yeah, like, you know like, I'm your new dad. I'm your dad. I'm your dad. You know, so... That's, that's typically the reason I've heard, like, oh, you know, I'm the only girl, or we're all girls in our family, and everybody else has taken their husband's name, but I, I, somebody needs to keep the family name, you know, but... Man, yeah, um, I, it's a complicated one because obviously you know. It, I don't think it's that age, complicated. In this age of the feminist, like there's ah, a lot, a lot of push wow. for those ah. things. The manufacturing company <laughs> <laughs> destroy all the timber. There is, there is a lot of push for this and understanding that concept. There's a lot of you know people pushing the idea of why therefore am I taking? Why are you not taking my name? Mm. Anyway, I think for me, even like before we get to this level, just even in friendship, I'd have known. I mean, like you'd yeah. have said to like you know discern. Like the, the, I'm not sure this person because like I'm not sure if our value codes are the same. So like I'll not start a battle. I can like let's not start a journey. Like let's not go there. If I know that we are not headed the same way, you know, like so even for me, even around, even the, around the conversation, it must be someone that I trust your judgment. I trust like your thinking. You're thinking brain box. Like I, I, I trust. Like, tell me, you know, <laughs> no, like, no, but like I trust. Like you know, if I'm gonna tell me, oh, do you know, it's like I feel we should move out of Nigeria. I trust that it's coming from a good place, not from a selfish place not or just a, a place, sentimental yeah. reason. Yeah. You no, know, you're you're thinking from a place of we than I. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So, so just to back up that argument mm. again from their perspective, are you not thinking from a place of I? If you want them to take no. your name. Well, like, I mean, we'll go back to the But then, no, but then that's, 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 a gen, that's a tradition. I, and I, I'm not, these days, I have to say, these days I'm beginning to, to lean against tradition or whatever because I've, I've just come to find out that tradition and culture is really just a recycle, some, one person's recycled ideology of, yeah. of what they think should be, you know. So there are certain things that are, are tradition that I, I don't see why, right? Mm -hmm. But a good argument in this case is just that's, that's the way things have been, you know. Yeah. That's the way things are done. If you want to become an adjournment and, and your mind get married to me, that's what you're going to have to do, you know. Simple. Unless, you, like he said, unless you can come, your argument has solid facts, you know, basis to say, okay, this is this is why I don't think we should do it. I don't, and and it, it's not from a place of I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because then I know some some people just have always, you know, back in high school, primary school, some people have always just started writing down their their last name or how they want it to sound. You know, they you know, really hyphenated. It's a different kind of yeah, name. And they, you know, some people I say, I want someone with their name is too long. Know. It's something that just, you know. That's that cute, that you know. So. Some people have always, always said from, from time, they want to marry someone with an English last name so that, you know, it can be like, you know, yeah. talk with, I'm hyphen, this. Sure. So, like, these things actually have, like, spiritual backgrounds. Yeah. Like, we are we are meant to be one. 
and you know God has already sent the order. So like all these Shewun, like you no, know, let's just keep one, like the Oduyali family, mm -hmm. the Adifarasin family, mm -hmm. not all these Bob, Bob Adeolu <laughs> slash uh, like no. Bob, it's, too much. <laughs> it's just too, too much. much yeah. Like let's just be one. Let's just be one. And like I said, yeah. I'm just gonna keep on pushing because there's no there's no woman here to defend wow, herself. Wow, but well, this is what this is this is what this is this is what you know again is gonna come back is that these cultures that are set and this is the way they are. They've come from a patriarchal society. Yeah. Mm. They've come from, from they've been cultures set by men and therefore lean and favor men. Mm. How do we start to create a duality or a culture that is um, gives a level of equity or equality for women? Mm. Um, but in the next level for me, when I want to talk about respect in marriages, what should respect look like coming I mean, coming from a man to his husband and for, to a man to his wife and a wife to her husband? I think in the Bible it talks about how we translate love and men want men have to be respected, women need to be loved, right? Mm -hmm. And that's how we that's how we translate love. So for for us, we want to be the king of our homes. Is well men are more ego driven, so it's almost like a, you have to massage our ego to let us understand that you respect us and in tra in that we understand that you love us. On on the other side for for women we need to show them love and respect for your wife or towards your wife is just, you know, doing the things that she would make her happy versus doing the things that would make her not happy or heartbroken and stuff like that, and that's the ways to show respect for your your spouse. Because then, even as a woman, to show respect for your husband is only things that make him happy, or you know, just not breaking the ground rules that have been set between the couple, between both of you. You know, um, I think in, I think in the long run, it's really just the honor, mm. honoring your 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 spouse in 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 the home, you know, and taking that. Taking that step to securing their trust, you know, securing their heart, their love, you know, just building based on honor, and that's really what I think it is. Yeah, yeah you know, because as much as it is hard, it's not an easy thing to get married. So I've heard I'm not married. You know? <laughs> all of us are just all of us here on married. Married. We can't really just looking with a level but of then even, like, even, is even in even in this now that respect it comes because then. I'm sure you've had those conversations with your friends that are your guys that are the same and they, they're talking to you like, oh, you're not on our level anymore because you're not married. I get that a lot. I don't know if you do, but... <laughs> so, you know, that was... You don't know what I'm going stuff. through. That, exactly. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know how hard it is. And even from their stories, you know, and based on relationships that I've experienced, it's kind of you know we, we can we can share similar stories just not to the extent of you know my people so I just think it's a thing of honor like mm -hmm. yeah. you know take care of what's supposed to be taken care of mm -hmm. and I feel like as a man you know your role you know and if you want to be respected you have to provide you have to protect you have to secure you have to give your family those basic needs so that you can gain, or you can have that basic respect mm -hmm. in the in the home. Not you know, don't. It's not a thing where you haven't paid for your house. So you know I want to dive a little bit on the controversial side mm -hmm. because so just because you know, so we talk about that and there's there's that level. And I think that maybe that has caused some level of. Um, friction mm. often when people talk about marriage in that okay the level of presence that men have in that okay yes they're 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 providing they're doing this and that but what about quality time spent with your spouse what about um being present in that way and honoring them in that way and showing and care about the things that they care about yeah. and you know um so how does that feed into this stuff because okay you've paid the rent you've paid the school the kids school fees you've done all that yeah. stuff but now your wife is looking for a respect Attention. and an honor that is intimate yeah. and not about the larger yeah. family. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think as well as respect for me is really like beyond honoring serving, if we're both focused on serving. So I'm trying to understand how do you like to be loved? Mm -hmm. You know, things like, you know, your love language, language yeah. you know, are you a words of affirmation person or your gifts, you know, you're an acts of service or your gifts, quality time, you know, just understanding why maybe for, for you, like I came to the house and I just put my shoe in the kitchen. I mean, it's not a big why deal. In the kitchen? You know, but, but like, you know, but like, you know, just understanding why 
like, like just honoring like the things that are important to you. Uh. You know, like maybe for you, like the kitchen must be immaculate, white. Like nothing must be left anywhere. And I just left Ribena outside, and you flipped. So understanding why is this important to you, like knowing your why. You know, how, you know. So, so for me, it's just respect about honoring like the differences because we've come from different backgrounds, different experiences have shaped us, and also more importantly, respect is communication. Yeah. I feel like I mean, well, I mean, we, everybody kind of knows what a man should do. Well, I mean, I. All things being equal, but the how, how do you express it, you know, how do, and where, where there are lapses, how do we address those issues, because that's where respect or the lack of it begins to surface, like, you know, I don't like when you spoke to me, I don't like when you do this one, da, 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 da. So what means about communication and the how? Sometimes as men, we get so caught up in the hustle. Yeah. We get so caught up in providing and doing those things, and it's mm. like, Woman, leave me alone. I got yeah, because you want me to spend time with you now, but then a bill is going to come from somewhere, so I have to make sure that you know. So I think it's also balance. We need yeah. to figure out, you know, all things being equal, like you said, you, you need to plan. It's time management, it's, it's, you know, and it's also including your spouse into your life and sometimes into that aspect of your life to say. Come, come and understand why yeah. I'm so busy, you know, or let me understand why. You, you, you're so caught up in, you know, in whatever it is you're caught up that we haven't been able to spend time. Maybe it's yeah. something we can do together, or maybe it's something I can even help you out on uh, from from the outside, yeah. so I can understand why you're not here right now. Mm. But here's how you here's a I'm your team player. I'm your I'm your teammate. Mm. So let me help you out from the sidelines, so that that way I can pull you back in to 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 have more time yeah. with you. You know, so sometimes you and, and this goes further to talk about how, you know, sometimes you say life is so short. You don't now want to be caught up with just mm. doing the hustle. you and yeah. doing the hustle and then one day you're not there to experience real life. And I, I like to tell people sometimes there's, there's real life to things, you know, like for things that we do, you get caught up in gigs and traveling and all these kind of things. But once in a while, you want to just pause everything to say, I need to get in touch with people mm. that mm on my yeah. real life, my siblings, my family, my mm. wife, my whatever it is, because the truth is, hustling is not the real life. Yeah. If you die tomorrow, you're not gonna take anything with you. You know, you can't even take the people you love with you. So why not build more experiences with the people that you love versus, you know, mm. hustling, you know? Yeah. And I like the, I don't know if you watched the memorial service for Nipsey Hussle where Lauren London talked about how he mentioned to her that you can't really possess people you can experience. You only experience them because mm -hmm. the truth is you can't really promise anybody forever. We don't have forever. Mm -hmm. So I can't promise you what I don't have, but I will cherish my Everything time with do. you. You yeah. know, and that's understanding that concept is a big thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people get caught up in, you know, making moves and they're making all the right moves and that's why they're as successful as they are but then is your success really complete yeah without that human touch you know that is supposed to be there for you but you're neglecting yeah. i think is, that was a good cv thank you bio thank you bio Call me for some booking. No. Wow. <laughs> what are you waiting for? It's funny. I, I, I want to I wanna end with this note or example. Mm. Bible says, men love your wives like Christ loved the church. Mm. Mm. That's quite That's unconditional. That Christ loved church is, is so deep. It's so like, when I look at it, because it's not just, oh, I came, I did things, and when it was down to a choice, I chose to die for you. Mm. Everything he did was with the purpose. The purpose of serving mm -hmm. the church, church yeah. and therefore it's that element of maybe you might not understand the decisions that were made but you should be able to know that in every decision you're making mm -hmm. for your spouse there's a level of honoring that person yeah. that everything behind your action okay. serves much. them no. oh. mm -hmm. and i think that we lose that yeah. idea yeah. and that yeah. concept <laughs> a lot <laughs> mm. on that note Mic drop. Oh, <laughs> one drop. <laughs> <laughs>